All right, this video is going to be over the conversion from the train reciprocating to the scroll compressor. Now, this is a two-ton package heat pump. The kit for to convert it over comes with the wiring, copper that I don't think is going to actually work, a new mounting bracket on the bottom, and the isolation pads, new capacitor, and dryer. And this is the TXV. What actually happened in this unit is the outdoor TXV went bad. Um, burn out the compressor, the valves on the compressor. So that is why it's getting replaced. Pressure control, new pressure control on the suction line. And I will start recovering it and I will be right back. All right, got the old compressor out. I put in the mounting bracket. The kit comes with new lags and bushings. Um, the old rubber isolators are from the existing you reuse them it does not come with new ones i'm going to leave the copper in here for the meantime to see if the the new what it what it came with is going to line up or not and then i will get the compressor this bolted down i'll get the compressor set up in here and then we will do the copper to do a little bit of trimming on this piece of copper that they gave me but it unwelds right here you'll need a coupling and a 90 and a small little piece but you can just use the piece you cut off the the line that they gave you i'm gonna go ahead and weld this in and then we will do the liquid line all right i got the liquid line in i had to bend it connects in down there it looks goofy but according to that's the picture train sends it. I'm gonna pop the filter dryer out, pop a new one in, and then I got the TXV put in. And this is where the bulb, let's see here. It is, that's where the bulb had rubbed through right there. Making it stay shut. The compressor's going into a vacuum. I'll get that welded in, and we will pressure test. All right, it passed the pressure test. I had to repair one weld on the compressor, but I'm going to crank up the vacuum. I'll give it 30 minutes and see what the microns look like. Um, I went ahead and wired everything in. It's still red run, black and blue is common, and then orange is start. Um, the low pressure switch, the new one that came on this new section line, I already wired it in. It's back in place. So I will fire up the vacuum and then charge it. And I pulled it down to about 400 microns. My camera died, so I did not get to take a video of it. But she is ready for refrigerant. Purge it. Throughout the scale. This unit holds uh, 6 pounds, 8 ounces. So 6.5 pounds. And I will fill this up. I got to wire it back over there where I used a 
that plug so I can run all this stuff. The closest plug on this house is about 200 foot that way. So I jumped it right there. So I'm gonna wire that back up, let this charge, and then we will take a look at our pressures. All right, I got my refrigerant in it. I'm gonna jump it out, the homeowner's not home. So I'm jumping it outside. I'm gonna take a start amp reading of the new compressor just for curiosity reasons. I will set the pressures up right now. All right, start amps were 44. That's not bad at all. Um, Previously, I just showed you the heating pressures. I'm gonna kick it into cooling. It's about probably 60 degrees here in Tennessee, so it's gonna be running in both, or it's good enough to check in cooling at least. Just to be on the safe side, make sure everything's good with it. So we'll fire this back up, and then we'll put the pr cooling pressures up. <laughs> 